What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to build the ultimate computer or gaming desk. If you want to see how this project is made, as well as a free set of plans to build one yourself, stay tuned and I'll be glad to show you. To get started on this project, I'm going to be cutting my two sheets of plywood down to their proper dimensions based off of my cutting diagram. If you notice, this doesn't look like two full sheets of plywood. What I did was I had the lumber yard cut it down to some general sizes so I could haul it home a little bit easier, but this is a full two sheets of plywood. With all my pieces cut to their final dimensions, I need to go ahead and prep a few of them before I start the assembly process. I'm gonna start with these five shelves. With all my holes drilled out for my dowels, I want to go ahead and start working on the wire cable management holes. And these are two inch grommets, so I hooked up a two inch Forstner bit. I'm going to be drilling all the way through in seven different locations. But what I did was I clamped up this piece of backer board, so when I'm drilling through, it's going to reduce the blowout on the other side. Now the type of joinery I'm gonna be doing on this desk is gonna be a combination of dowel joinery and then the good old fashioned wood screws and wood glue. I'm gonna use the wood screws and wood glue on areas that can't be seen or areas that I can't really get with the dowel joinery that well. So let's go ahead and uh, start assembling the right side of my desk. So after constructing the right side of my desk, you want to do the same process for the left side, only this time you want to exclude the middle shelf, which is going to allow you to put your computer tower right in the center there. So now we can go ahead and start working on the middle and set these two pieces aside for now. Now it's all set to connect the left and the right side of my desk together. Now 
Now with all three of my bottom pieces glued together, I actually went ahead and bought some metal braces last night and put those in place just to kind of make sure everything stayed in place overnight and glued up. So now I have a really solid rigid piece here. But now I'm ready to go ahead and start putting the top on and then I should be wrapping up the woodwork on this desk very soon. glued on that completes the construction portion the last thing I need to do is hide these ugly plywood edges and for that I'm just gonna use some iron-on edge banding so after I got done applying my edge banding I went ahead and sanded my desk down so it feels nice and smooth the last thing I want to do is go ahead and add my finish. This is a poly shade. It's a two-in-one polyurethane and stain. So hopefully that will save me a little bit of time. Plus it was the only stain that I could find in classic black. After letting the finish cure for a few days, I went ahead and brought my desk inside. All in all, I have to say I'm extremely happy with how well this project came out. There's plenty of room for storage on the sides, whether I want to add my Xbox or anything else that I have really. And I'm also very happy with the cable management on this as well, because you can't see any of the wires. I think it has a very clean look to it. But uh, all in all, I couldn't be happier with it. And if you guys like this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more woodworking videos almost every Tuesday. And don't forget, there's a free set of plans in the description below if you want to make this yourself. So until next Tuesday, I'll see you guys then.